Here is our weekly meals for our big family. Today is Monday and I made a really super easy spinach and tortellini soup. It's super good and all you gotta do is top it with some Parmesan cheese, super yummy. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my huge, huge stainless steel pot. All right, here it is. This is what it looks like in my huge pot. Tortellini and spinach soup, amazing. And then you just put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on that and serve. Look at my daughter there. She has been making her own iced caramel macchiatos. So yummy. All right, day one. Spinach and tortellini soup. Yummy. It is Tuesday and I am about to make tater tot casserole. I was going to do like a soup theme all week, but I don't know. We haven't had tater tot casserole in a long time. So I have my hamburger thawed out. The sausage is actually for my sausage McMuffins that I'm gonna make my family for the whole week. Haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna make tater tot casserole. When it's done, I'll come back in and show you guys how it turned out. That um, tortellini and spinach soup yesterday was amazing, like amazing. My casserole is ready. Um, tater tot casserole is the fastest, fastest casserole to make. Whenever I don't know what to make, I'm in a hurry tater tots. It literally took me 20 minutes. So easy, so simple. I think I'm going to do a budget dinner tater tot casserole to see how cheap we can get it. So I used two pounds of tater tots just plus a little bit more. Um, so for this big nine by 13, oh, by nine by 13, it only took one bag plus a couple more. Um, so I'm just going to cook it. And um, I used to make tater tots all the time when my kids were little. We probably had tater tot casserole at least once a week. But now that they're bigger, I've been trying to like expand what I cook. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put it in the oven now probably for, I don't know, 40 minutes because the tater tots are frozen. And when it comes out, um, I'll show you guys how it turned out. But my kids love tater tot casserole. Like they absolutely love it. And I've created so many different dishes with tater tot casserole. I've been able to do pulled pork, Big Mac. Um, I did a million dollar tater tot casserole. Like, the possibilities are endless with this. I only made one because we do have a little bit left of our tortellini and spinach soup. So I thought, well, we can have that and we can have this. So tomorrow my plan is to make broccoli and cheddar soup. I love broccoli and cheddar soup. So we'll see how that goes. You never know, you never know, right? You have a plan, but then something happens. The tater tot casserole is done, it took about 35 minutes. So to prepare the meal and make the meal just under an hour. And just to let you know, did you know that they make onion tater tots? So you can use onion tater tots for this too. So here's our dinner for tonight, tater tot casserole. Just called the kids and said, get over here, it's ready to go. All right, see ya Wednesday. It is Wednesday and we were so busy this afternoon that I didn't have time to make my broccoli cheddar soup. We were supposed to do it last week, but I didn't get to it last week. So I'm gonna make it tomorrow, but today for Wednesday, we're gonna be doing the leftover tater tot casserole and my leftover tortellini and um, spinach soup because it's 5.30 and we just finished surprising Josh in his bedroom. I'm gonna show you guys. And also what I did today was I made a detox kind of metabolism booster water. So I have cinnamon sticks in here, lemon, limes, pineapple rinds, pineapple, ginger, um, and mint. And so I cooked it for about an hour on low and I've had it sitting in this pot for like four hours. I'll show you guys. There you go. And so I think I'm going to let it soak for a couple more hours. And then what you do is you strain it, put it into like maybe some canning jars and you're supposed to have a glass of it before you go to bed and a glass of it when you, when you wake up. So it kind of helps like your digestion, helps your metabolism, supposed to get rid of belly fat. So I've already made a pot of this. And um, I made it for everybody just so we can all like, maybe it'll help boost our immune system up. So I also made this today. So let me show you in Joshua's room what we did. And this is why we're having leftovers today. So here is Joshua's room. We reorganized, took down a bed. This is his little area where he can read his books, listen to Patch the Pirate CDs and um, his, his uh, Jonathan Park series, different books. 
Um, here in the closet is like his instruments, hockey stuff, basketball stuff. And then we took down the curtain. Oh, I'm so tired. We took down the curtain, hung all of his hats up using curtain rods, like curtain rod hole or curtain, curtain holders. And then we moved his bed in front of the window so he can see the beautiful trees, got his ducks set up. We have his uh, schedule on what he needs to do every day. We hung his hats up, swept and mopped, brought in the carpet, and then we hung a curtain in his closet, moved his dresser over, and this is the best. There's the other bed, we gotta take that downstairs still. But this Christmas tree, we bought it the other day to surprise him. He is at work, so he has no idea that we have revamped his bedroom. I just felt like it was time for Joshy to have his own room. Um, David is kind of in and out, he's looking for a place and so uh, I just feel as Josh, he's getting older, you know, he needs like his own little space. So I'm gonna get him a little table where he can put his alarm clock on. And so look how nice this is. So this is what we've been doing for three hours. So this is why I didn't make my broccoli cheddar soup, which I was supposed to make Haley last week, but didn't. So this is it, turned out great. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow so I can show you what we made for dinner. Pray that I get that broccoli soup Today's done. Thursday and I made a cheddar broccoli soup. Turned out absolutely great. I tried to make it last week, but last week was crazy. I have to show you guys something. So my friend bought these for me. Somebody crocheted pumpkins. Look how cute that is. So there's the white one. There's a yellow one. And then look at this. Aren't those cute? She gave them to me at our women's Bible study. Adorable. Okay, so the soup is done. Let's see how it turned out. Super yummy. Oh my goodness. Me and Haley have been looking forward to this. We had leftovers yesterday and they're 100% gone. So, all right, there it is. I got a little, yeah, a little bit on here. It's gonna drip over the side. All right, broccoli. Broccoli and cheddar soup, Thursday night dinner. And I forgot to show you, I picked up homemade bread and my friend Melissa made us the sourdough bread. Isn't that beautiful? And I got this today. My friend who was helping me make my cookbook, she sent me a care package because she just uh, had a baking book done and look at how sweet is that. So she sent that to me. There it is. Her new baking cookbook, super cute. I'm so proud of her. All right. It looks great and it smells great. All right, tomorrow I think we're having mini chicken pot pie pasties. I promised Haley I'd make chicken pot pie for the last two weeks. So chicken pot pie pasties is what I'm making for tomorrow. Today is Friday and I made chicken pot pie pasties I have a little bit left over of our broccoli cheddar soup, which me and Haley loved. I also made my own homemade chicken broth that I'm gonna use for something. And then I made the best, which you guys are, are gonna see this video, the best monster, Haley said they're the best cookies I've ever made. Like ever, they are, they don't even taste like a typical monster cookie, do you think? No, it's okay. They're so good, they're so good. So this is Friday's dinner. The chicken pot pies, a little bit of leftovers, and then the cookies. So, tomorrow is our big <laughs> tomorrow is our big um, Halloween carving contest, and I'm gonna go, go get pizzas for that. So, these turned out good. I've already had one. That's absolutely amazing. It is Saturday, and we are having our um, carving pumpkin contest. We're actually making pizzas. Oh, here they come. Just sit them right there. Thank you. We're having pizzas. This is set up because we're gonna have almost 20 kids and we need even the stove area. And then my son over here, as you guys can see, he is making his um, Nerdy Nuts like charcuterie, like snack board over here for us to snack on for tonight too. So dinner for Saturday night for our pumpkin carving contest is pizzas. <laughs>